once I had started having country hits, I was asked to go over to Afghanistan to perform for the troops, sure. and it was an honor, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I went over there for about two weeks, and we flew in Black Hawk helicopters, and we would land, and I took a band with me, and our equipment would be set up, and the soldiers were so excited that we were there, and we just, you know, tore the place to pieces in the best way. So when I came back, I started writing songs about the soldiers and stories I had heard, and none of those songs are on the radio, but then Peter Zinn, who has written plays in New York, uh, actually, I knew him when I was a kid, but we had lost touch, and someone sent him all these songs. So he wrote a whole script around these songs and sent it to me over Facebook and said, hey, I want to put this on in New York. And in all honesty, so the, the story was basically about a soldier, and now it's more about a songwriter in, in Nashville. But Peter, he lives in New York, so he didn't know Smile by Uncle Cracker was a hit. He didn't know Somewhere With You was a hit song. He didn't really know about Sangria, in all honesty. So when we put this on in a festival in New York, the line was up the block with country fans and that had heard about the musical. And Peter was like, what is going on here? So when he found out these songs were on the radio that I'd written, I mean, you could have knocked him over with a feather. So, and so we're just, we just keep putting it on and keep working on it. And what's great about this uh, theater festival we're in is that the audience comes and they give us feedback after the show's done. We want to ask them what worked, what songs do you think worked. So, and also there's a bar here in the theater, so that, you know, we got that going for us. 